Hey guys, it's Toast again from the Fish Yacker YouTube channel. Here's another Chinese e-packet, so you know what that means? Another really inexpensive fishing product review. So this is a lure that I picked up for a dollar and free shipping, shipped from China directly to my house from AliExpress. Here's a listing for it right now. It's up a little tiny bit right now. It's a a dollar and eleven cents, but it says it's on. You can get it on sale for a dollar ten. So it's still a little bit more than what I got it for. Uh, Twelve centimeter, fourteen gram plastic fishing lure, minnow hard lure, artificial bait, crank bait, bait minnow, swim bait, trout bass, carp fishing. That's all your different keywords that they use on there to kind of get the spider in. So there are six different colors available. Uh, right now it's listing at uh, 66 cents for shipping. So it has come up quite a bit since I was uh, since I ordered it a couple months back. But I'm sure if you look around, we'll probably find some more links to it where it's actually a little bit cheaper again. And it goes up and down also depending on the exchange rate and all that. But uh, I got it for a dollar with free shipping. I thought it was kind of interesting because of the pictures you see here. It's got kind of an interesting like half tail on it. It's a jointed crankbait, kind of almost like a hard jerk bait looking uh, for a silhouette to it. Uh, and uh, this is a, the different six uh, different colors that you can get it in. Uh, let's take a look at it. I'll open it up and then we'll look at some more of the specs on it. So again, it came with those Chinese e packets. I've already got it out and used it on the water wolf, and this thing actually has a pretty impressive uh, pattern, a motion to it. Uh, so it actually does perform well. It runs pretty darn accurately, and that's it. So again, it's kind of like a almost like a, a hard jerk bait, uh, you know, mold to it. Uh, the pla it is a plastic mold. The joint in it actually has a metal joint. That's actually pretty good, but uh, the finish on it's just a standard and expensive crankbait looking finish to it. Uh, not some like 3D or like sublimated really cool looking graphic print. But again, it's that tail on it, it's kind of like a half tail, I'm like hey how well would that work? It looks kind of similar to one that we picked up a year or so back. Similar layout to the lure that was jointed with a full tail and the thing ran like crap. But Taking a look at it, starting at the business end up here at the front, it does have split rings all the way around. That's a little bit of extra, you know, you know, it shows a little bit, you know, a little bit more that they're putting into the lure. Uh, the lip on it, it's kind of like a semi-square lip. The lip has a little bit of flex to it, but not a ton. So it's not really, really rigid, it might snap, so it might take a little bit of beating on it. Uh, it does have a textured, kind of scaly finish to it. Uh, you can see the uh, the uh, molded in gill slits here. It has two treble hooks on it, again with those split rings, but it has those really shiny, soft metal kind of feeling hooks. Uh, so yeah, these will work. They're a little bit maybe even on the small size for the size lure, but uh, you can get a little bit of flex in them, and I'm sure these things will uh, you know rust and like break pretty quickly. So if you've used them once and snagged it or gotten anything hooked on them, just go ahead and replace them. Uh, like I said, it's got that, that interesting tail on it. I did get this out, use it on the water wolf. This thing ran pretty well. Maybe about a foot is what it ran at, at least behind the camera. Uh, and I ran it a couple of different speeds. Unfortunately, the water is still not totally clear. Uh, like last year in 2018, we didn't get a lot of underwater footage because we just had so much stinking rain. Uh, the specs on this, again, there's six different lures. Colors available. Um, and it basically says the same thing that's in the description. But the one thing I did notice on here, it does say it's a 14 gram plastic lure, right? But if you come down here to the weight on it, it actually says net weight 7.8 grams. So you can do the math, put it on a scale, I really don't care. Oh well. Uh, it's a dollar lure. But it shows the different colors that it comes in. Uh, not much to it because than what I just told you. Does it work? Yeah. Will it catch fish? Yeah. There are different color you know, combinations for whatever you want to use. There are some listings for it now. Like I said, I'll put a link down below. I'll see what I can find. I'll put a link that I have up here. But if you uh, take a look on there, you'll probably find some maybe a little bit cheaper, maybe some more expensive. But going to Ali, Alibaba on AliExpress, eBay, Wish, they all pretty much sell the same exact stuff. But uh, that's what it looks like close up. Like I said, two treble hooks, 
It's got kind of a semi-square bill on it, lip on it. Got that interesting tail. It is jointed and it does run properly when I put it in the water. So you'll catch all sorts of stuff on these. So, anywho, go down below, click the link if you're interested in it. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel and give us that thumbs up on a YouTube video and share the video. And let us know what you want to see. If you want to get out in the water with us soon with the weather breaking, drop me a line. I'm always looking for company. If you have ideas for stuff for us to test out, let me know too. So, we'll catch you on the water, guys. Thanks for watching. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.